friends, welcome back here. We're going to do math lesson 8.7. We're on page 206. And today's lesson is a, more on partitioning. And remember, partition means to divide the shape into smaller parts. And now I know you don't have your cubes and your squares, but you may have a ruler at home. So that might be something I would reach for now. Because as we talked about in our last lesson, we said that the orange square is going to be about one inch. That's my larger space, one inch. And my cube is about one centimeter, the smaller space ones. So first we're going to talk about how many rows of squares. So I'm going to pull out my ruler. And remember, I'm going to use the one inch. First, I'm going to do it with my orange squares. How many rows of squares? So I'm going to partition this rectangle. Huh. Looks to me like there might be one, two, three, three rows of squares. Let's partition that with, I'm going to use my my square here, you use your ruler, but I'm going to mark, make a mark here and make a mark here. And so it does not have to be exact, but we're going to partition that down the middle and then going across. Mm -hmm. Looks to me like we have about one, two, three, three rows of squares. How many squares in each row? One, two, two squares in each row. How many squares did you draw to cover the whole rectangle? One, two, three, four, five, six. I could also count by twos here, couldn't I? Two, four, Six, or I could count by threes. Three, six. We got six squares there. Now if on question two, how many rows of squares are there? Again, we're going to be talking about my orange square. So that means I, I'm going to use at home, I'm going to use my ruler, and I'm going to use the one inch. So I'm going to go down. And draw my line here, kind of a dash. And I'm going to do it on this side too. And then I'll, for you at home, it might look something like this. Dash, dash, dash on the one, two, three inch mark. And then I'm just going to draw it down. And remember, what's that fancy word we're doing here, friends? Partitioning. We're partitioning this rectangle. How many rows of squares are there? Well, sometimes I still like my manipulatives. I'm going to put those back on here. So you can see. How many rows of squares are there? One, two. Two rows of squares. How many squares are there in each row? One, two, three, four. How many squares did you draw to cover the rectangle? I can count individually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I could also count here, it looks to me like in twos, two, four, six, eight. Or I see four and four, and that's a double. I know four and four is eight. I could do either one there. Let's try this one, friends. Now I'm going to change because the direction wants us to use these cubes. And remember, the cubes are about, at home, you're going to use your ruler. And they're about one centimeter. I'm going to hold that up there so you can see. It's about one centimeter. So I'm going to lay these on there.
Looks like we got it fully covered there. Now we've got to do some partitioning, don't we? So you can use your ruler. I might just, I'm going to draw on each centimeter line. One, two, three, four. And then I'm going to do the side. And then I'm just going to draw that line straight across. Then I'm going to put my cubes back on so you can see them better. The question here says, how many rows of squares are there? One, two. I go down for my rows. Two rows. How many squares are there in each row? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Five squares in each row. How many squares did you draw to cover the rectangle? Well, I can count individually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Or I can count by twos. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Or I even see, I can count by fives. You guys are really good at that too. Five, ten. So there are ten squares to cover the rectangle. And this was all on page 206. Now in your journal, I would turn to page 207. We're still partitioning. Remember, partition means to divide the shape into smaller parts. I'm going to use my small squares here, friends. Question says, how many small squares cover the large square? So let's cover that up. Hmm. Seems to me about four, four. But if you are partitioning at home, I'm going to take out my ruler. Remember the square is about an inch, the large space. So we've got two rows, one, two, and two in each row, two, four. We've got four squares covering the larger square. Now let's look at this one. How many squares cover the rectangle? And we're still going to use those large squares. So I'm going to cover them. We're going to need a lot here, aren't we, friends? At school, we like to play with these blocks, don't we? We can make some real neat pictures. All right. How many did we get here? How many squares cover that picture, that rectangle? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five. I counted thirty-five, friends. We could count by fives, couldn't we? There's five, ten. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So we've got 35 squares. Now at home, you've got your ruler out. 
we can still partition using our rulers. One, we're going to make a dash on each inch. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to go across here too. Again, right on that inch. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm just going to draw that straight down. Now you can check yourself here, friends. Looks to me, you have one, two, three, four, five. There's five rows, seven in each row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. We've got 35 squares to, fit, to cover partition that rectangle. Now, friends, we are going to jump to our next math journal page, page 208. On this page, we're just reviewing our addition facts. Um, many of you like to do it up and down. If you wanted, you could use partial sums. The directions say you could draw open number lines too. You can use however you want to solve your problem. I'll grab a bigger marker here. If I'm going up and down, I'm gonna start in the ones column. 8 plus 1 is 9, 3 plus 4 is 7, 79. And again, I'm going to start my 1's column. 6 plus 7 is 13. Put down the 3. I'm going to carry the 1 to the 10's place. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 5 is 8. On question number 3, we're going to start in the 1's place again. 5 plus 4 is 9, 6 plus 5 is 11. So we got to put the 1 down and carry. 1 plus 4 is 5, 5 plus 3 is 8. Last one over here, 8 plus 7 is 15. Put down the 5, carry the 1. 1 plus 5 is 6, 6 plus 6 is 12. I'm going to put down the 2, carry the 1. 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 6 is 9. Thanks for joining us today. Have a great day.